Hello viewers, in this video we are going to learn about development of root hair or trichomes. First of all, what are root hairs? Root hairs are tubular cellular outgrowths of epidermal cell. You know that uh, roots are covered by root epidermis, right? At maturity, the root epidermis comprises two cell types, the cells with root hairs and the, the cells which are not having root hairs or hairless epidermal cells. So two kinds of cells we see in epidermis, hairless cells and cells with root hairs. Spatial pattern of root hair cells and hairless epidermal cells varies in different vascular plants. So how the root hair cells and hairless cells will be distributed in epidermis of a root will vary from plant to plant. So there another term we need to know is trichoblast. Cells from which a root hair is developed is trichoblast. In grasses, there are cell files in which hair cells alternate with hairless epidermal cells. And in crest family, cell files comprising only root hair cells are flanked by two or more cell files that contain only hairless epidermal cells. You will see what is this arrangement. Last cell division for the development of an epidermal cell results in two cells with different identity. One cell will become epidermal cells, epidermal cell, normal epidermal cell or hairless epidermal cell and another cell will become a root hair cell. So last division gives two kinds of cell, epidermal cells and root hair cells or we can say that hairless and uh, root hair cells. There are three types of root hair distribution. There can be, uh, there are basically three types. There can be other uh, patterns also, right? So type one, you can see here that root epidermal uh, cells and hair cells have no, uh, you know, they have random arrangement. They are randomly distributed in epidermis. Okay, so any root epidermal cell can produce root hair in this case. And type 2, the last division is asymmetric and the larger cell will become the hairless cell and the smaller cell will become a cell with root hair. Right. So here any cell can become a root hair cell. There is no differential division or asymmetric division and any cell can become a root hair cell. Here asymmetric division is happening and smaller cell is mm, becoming or developing into a root hair cell. Third type is characterized by alternating files of root hair cells. You see here the cells having root hairs and the cells this file is flanked by the cells epidermal cells which are hairless right so we can we can see that alternate presence of uh, a file with root hair and a, a file with root, hairless cells likewise or one file with root hair and two alternating files with uh, hairless cells hairless epidermal cells so this way different arrangements you can see in grasses we see alternating files of uh, root hair cells and hairless cells now if we see uh, there can be different epidermal cells that either can be underlined by only one cortical cell or maybe underlined by two cortical cells. Right? The cells uh, which are placed only uh, under which only one cell is placed become a normal uh, hairless cell, while developmental program of the cells uh, which are uh, having two underlined cortical cells will develop into root hairs or we can say that epidermal cells that are in contact with only one cell in the underlying cells okay underlying cortical layer will become a non hair or a hairless cell developmental program and whereas those uh, in contact with two cortical cells will develop into a root hair and root hair initiation occurs uh, uh, with the positioning of a polar initiation site. If you see here, uh, this is the cell. So 
सो द बल्जिंग ऑफ द और इनिशिएशन ऑफ द रूट है अगर एट द इन अ पोलर वे सो वन साइड देयर इज नो इनिशिएशन एट द बॉटम और बेसल साइड देयर इज अ बल्ज सो इन दिस ट्राइकोब्लास्ट एट द बेसल एंड देयर विल बी एन आउटग्रोथ व्हिच विल लीड टू फॉर्मेशन ऑफ अ रूट हेयर आउटग्रोथ ऑफ रूट हेयर आउट ऑफ दिस सेल सो दिस इज दिस वे दिस इज अ पोलर फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द रूट हेयर Now, in case of Arabidopsis thaliana, uh, we indicate uh, normal cells and H cells. H for hairless, N for hairless. Uh, H for hair cells or uh, trichomes, uh, N for normal cells or hairless cells. In Arabidopsis thaliana, this process of uh, spatial pattern arrangement of root hair cells is controlled by uh, a transcriptional network that will include not only positive regulators of H cell active identity but also negative regulators of hair cell identity the positive regulators are cpc tri and etc full forms are uh, given here cpc is uh, cap rice and uh, tri r y is uh, triptychon and etc is the enhancer of the tri and cpc while negative regulators of hcl identity includes uh, werewolf transparent testa glabra glabra 3 enhancer of the glabra 3 and glabra 2 Okay, so these are the negative regulators of uh, hair cell identity. Uh, in case of Arabidopsis thaliana, the different mutants are there: uh, AT HRD61, AT HRD62, and AT HRD63. Okay, and their wild type ecotypes. The wild type ecotype of uh, AT RHD61 is WS, while AT RHD62 is LE, and uh, AT RHD63. is called zero called not and this is a, a complementation of uh, atrhd63 with the help of uh, normal wild type copy so restriction of the mutation if you see the mutant phenotype there is no hair or there is a lack of uh, hair growth right or minimized hair root hair growth right and if we see the complementation uh, so again the root hair growth is established and here you see the <coughs> gsp labeled uh, transcription factor so only in alternating cells every after every two cells there is a root hair cell right every, after two after every alternating two normal hairless cells there is a root hair cell characterized by the presence of the transcription factor which is gsp labeled so this here you are seeing a normal uh, filing Uh, alternating files of uh, hair and non normal cells hair cells and normal cells and if you see here cpc which is a positive regulator of root hair growth so mutation in that leads to uh, no formation of root hair while uh, mutations in negative regulator you see most of the cells become uh, or develop in as a root hair cell so this way uh, we establish the function of these proteins uh, in either which are negatively regulating or positively regulating the developmental rate of an epidermal cell right so i think uh, you could understand the uh, development of root hair different patterns of root hair and hairless cell rearrange arrangement in the epidermis okay so thank you guys for watching this video and keep coming to this channel do subscribe and like my videos and share with your friends thank you thank you for coming to this channel